Hi, and welcome back to From the Shop. We're at Manifest Comics. We haven't been here in a few months, but we're back. And uh, Frey's not back. No, he's not. He's not. He's. Uh, I wonder what he could be doing. Probably at a zoo or something. Probably. You know, probably petting, petting animals and and and, and men and stuff like yeah. that. I just made that up on the spot. Like <laughs> yeah. you're very clever. I am. But we're back, and it's um it's April 26, 426. Um, that's Aliens Day, because that'll be 426. Did you know that? I didn't. You didn't know that. You know, <laughs> I wasn't aware did. that was a thing. Now you know. Now, now I know. know. And this new Aliens book's called Aliens Defiance by Brian Wood. And it's from Dark Horse. Um, Dark Horse has been publishing Aliens books forever. But um, since Star Wars, they lost, they've been pushing this, this uh, universe yeah. a little bit more. And it's a good book. It's, um, it's not the best book. I think there's a, uh, a tendency with these uh, types of books, Predator and Aliens, to just repeat the same kind of stories, like you know, Whalen Utani's going after the yeah. aliens. They want them. They, they never they learn. They don't learn. They don't learn. No. But um, <laughs> it's uh, it's funny. Um, the art's really good, and there's some twists like in the book that make it a little bit, you know, a, sits apart from a traditional aliens book. Um, but I like it. I like it. Aliens. I'm a fan of the universe. I'm a fan of the, um, you know, the character of the alien. Yeah. I sympathize with the yeah. alien. What do you think? They're monsters that like pop out of people's chests, like just me. like you. Thank you. Dark sides. Um, no, I, really li <laughs> I actually liked that. I liked it more than some of the other Dark Horse Alien Predator books. Um, I thought the art reminded me of like, sort of like an Alex Maleev-like style. And there's some interesting characters. There's one yeah. a human soldier, a female soldier, and then there's this robot who's an interesting character by himself. That's and the twist I was talking about. Oh, was it? With why yeah. the robot's motivation. And it was just an interesting, interesting twist. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to, honestly. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if you're an Aliens fan, I would definitely go for it. And if you're just a sci-fi fan, you never read an Aliens book, maybe yeah. even better. Because you don't know really yeah. what to expect. Yeah. And it's not like you haven't read a bunch of Aliens books like it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. No, I, I, would it. Definitely, I would definitely give it a shot. I'd give it 6 out of 10 Lugos. Cool. 6 out of 10. What do you got next? Okay, our next book. This is um, Batman 51. This is the last Batman book by uh, Scott Snyder, the team of Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's good. It's really, really good. It's probably my favorite um, Batman book by Snyder in a while. I wasn't that big of a fan of the uh, Gordon Batman uh, super heavy uh, run, but this is a really, really good ending. First of all, Greg Capullo does a great Batman. He always has. And Snyder really gets this chance, even though he, he's going to be doing a Batman book, a different <coughs> Batman book um, going forward, this is his last one of this uh, run. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a nice one, done in one, but a nice capstone to their whole run. Yeah, it was a good ending. It was like a nice uh, farewell. If it was, was his final Batman story, mm -hmm. it would have been a nice, you know, just... Yeah. I mean, it's nothing, it's not, you know, I didn't like it as much as you, I don't think, but it is a good, good goodbye yeah. to this chapter in his Batman life. But it also hints at, like, stuff... I'm yeah, not sure if Snyder's yeah. even doing an All-Star Batman or, or, or be just up. stuff. Well, they might but be it was some cool stuff yeah. like hints uh, that with the future story and other characters. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, no, I, I can't really fault it. I've I loved love that thing. Yeah. yeah, I love that spread. That double page. Blah blah blah. I like. No, it's good. I like. His art's never been bad. His art's great. I think Scott Snyder will probably go down as one of the best Batman runs. Yeah. Um, that I've ever read, as far as I'm concerned, I've really enjoyed his book from issue one. It's one of the one of the books. That um, DC's gotten right in the new 52. Yeah. Um, that they, it never really missed a beat for me, mm -hmm. except for the super heavy bit. I wasn't a huge fan of Gordon as uh, Batman. I was always more interested in Bruce and, and yeah. in that storyline, Bruce becoming Batman again. Um, but yeah, no. And he, book. he touches on like all the different characters, yeah. and it's very personal too. You can yeah. tell like, from the the, the narration. The narration. Yeah. But it's really really good. I, I enjoyed that a lot. I would give it. Um, I give it nine out of ten Lugos. Nine out of ten Lugos. Yeah. That's a lot of Lugos. Call me crazy. But I really enjoyed it. I liked it. I thought it was a nice fitting end to his run. I agree. I agree. Um, sorry, I keep checking the camera. I haven't used it to record in a while. I've just been taking pictures with it because we haven't been here. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of books that DC hasn't fucked up in the New 52, we got Justice League um, by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabak. Um, this has been a, a really good story, The Dark Side War. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the last part. I thought that's why we were reviewing it today. We it's tricked not. You. We it's tricked not you. the last part. It's the second to last part. This is part nine. It's a long, uh, yeah. long story. It's been going on for a while. Yeah, but it's, I mean, the art's beautiful. Jason I mean, it's been going on for about a year because it started Free Comic Book Day last year. True, Free Comic Book Day is coming up yeah. next week. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, the art's great. I hope wherever Fabak, or I can't pronounce it, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. He's working on something with Jeff is Johns, he? I think. Is so. he? I hope he is. I think they he's really, really, they teased he's really that. great. And Jeff Johns gets the DC characters better than I think just about anybody. Yeah. Scott Snyder may be one of the exceptions, um, with Batman at least. But, um, it's just a great, a great storyline, and it's just you know it's build, it's it's continuing to build pieces 
And I mean, it's not—I wouldn't say it's just build up because mm -hmm. it's more than that. But I mean, it's, it is setting up the stage for the finale. The finale. Yeah. So yeah, no, I really liked it. Yeah, no, it's great. Jason Fabach. I mean, I didn't know if they would be able to get an artist as good. As, I mean, they had Jim Lee on this. They had Ivan Rice, and those are two of the top artists at DC. I didn't know who they were going to get to take over for Ivan Rice if they could really keep it up. But uh, Jason Fabach has proven like out of this world. He reminds me of like a mixture of like almost. Uh, Andy Kubert and Gary Frank almost. And it's just a really good, clean style. Yeah, and I think his style is all his own right now. And yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I, I'll read whatever he does. Yeah, no. <coughs> it ties up some, well, it continues to carry through some threads from earlier mm -hmm. Jeff John stories, too. Um, yeah, I'm hyped. Um, this is one of those books that I really like. This Batman. Yeah. Wonder Woman was a great run on mm -hmm. when uh, Azrael was on it. And the New 52 is almost, and I mean, they say the New 52 ended, yeah. but I mean, it's the only, ending. The only now. thing, the way they take care of one of the characters yeah. seems a little rushed. A little rushed? Yeah. A little yeah. easy. A little I guess. Easy. I guess. But uh, other than that, it's just a really good book. Yeah, and I, 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 one thing, uh, when Jeff Johns introduces or reintroduces stuff to the DC universe, like yeah. the New Gods and Mr. Yeah. Miracle and Big Barda, I love his take on Mr. Miracle and Big Barda. Yeah. But I don't trust anyone who's going to come after him. No, I mean, like, they turn into justice. The, they try to do the characters on Earth, too, and that sucked. Yeah, so, no. But, but he know. gets that. He gets the relationship. He gets all the characters. It's just really, really good. Yeah. You know, I'd give it probably 8 out of 10. Yeah. Logos. yeah. This, is a, this is one of the better books out yeah. there right now. Go pick it up. What do we got last? Okay, our last book. This is a Marvel one shot. This is Doctor Strange, Last Days of Magic. This ties into Jason Zarin's current run on Doctor Strange. Um, this is an anthology book. It's got uh, stories by Jason Aaron. It's got stories, a story by Gary, Jerry Dugan, and a story by uh, James Robinson. Like most anthology books, it's, it's a mixed bag. Um, some of it's really, really good. I, I love the Jason Aaron stuff. The um, Jerry Dugan, Dr. Voodoo story was okay, and the James Robin story was pretty good, I thought. Um, but, but it's a mixed bag, and I'm not sure if it's like completely necessary to affect your enjoyment of the regular Doctor Strange book. But it's a good, it's a good, a good solid book. Yeah, no, it's solid. It's, it's, yeah, it's solid. solid. It's solid. No, and it's I mean, charming. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a good, like, it's like an annual, it feels like. A yeah, Strange annual, that's true. Um, with just side characters. I like some of the characters they introduced. I, I didn't know yeah. that was James Robinson. I thought that was pretty good. Which one? The last uh, one? The one with the, the, um, the whoop. Yeah. Um, I thought yeah. that was pretty good. I like the uh, the Russian at the end. That was uh, Jason Aaron. Yeah, that, that was really good. good. That was fun. That was probably my favorite um, of the Jason Aaron parts of this book. Yeah. I mean, it's not as good as the. I mean, it's basically Jason Aaron as a Sorcerer Supreme. Pretty much. That's Which pretty is awesome. awesome. Uh, this is what I, I assume book. Jason Aaron I would read that book, yeah. Well, except not Russian. But yeah. um, no, it's, it's good. The, the Doctor Strange book as a whole yeah. is great. Oh, it's been, it's great. It's been excellent. But uh, this is not as good, but it's still good. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's well worth your time, especially with the, the yeah. movie coming out yeah, and everything. Um, more good Doctor Strange is never a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, no. Not at all. And it's it. It's a good time yeah. for Doctor Strange. I would give it uh, I would give it seven out of ten Lugos. Seven out of ten Lugos. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a lot of Lugos. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot more books there uh, coming out this week. Yeah. I'm, I was just looking at them when I was getting up to check the camera. Old Man Logan is an incredible book. Yeah, um, there's actually the books. another so new that. Doctor Strange issues coming oh, yeah. out the Doctor main Strange. series. So you got two Doctor Strange books this yeah. week. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, and, uh, I want to know what happens. The end of Avengers standoff, which yeah. has been pretty good. Uh, a bunch of good books. Yeah, a bunch of books. Get to the store. I'll yep. pick up the shop. And we mentioned Free Comic Book Day. That is next Saturday, which is the 5th, 6th, 7th of May. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I was on the thing anyway. 11 to 5 at Manifest. They have door busters until 1 p.m. Buy one, get one free. Variant covers. Buy one, get one free. Any already discounted books. $10 Funko Pop figures. And then they have all day specials. Buy three, get one free graphic novels. 20% off all statues and figures, 20% off all board games, huge selection of $1 issues in the back room, fill an entire short box of $1 books for only $50, including the short box. Um, you get two free comics just for showing up, get two more free when you spend $10. Cool. Um, a lot of good deals, a lot of free yeah. books. I'm a lot of cool, to. Uh, I can't make it, I'm filming a movie. Dumb. A lot of uh, good free comic books. Yeah. Civil War starts. I think yeah. they're doing this first one of like the Steve Rogers, Captain America's coming back. What about DC? What's DC doing? Are they doing anything? A reprint for Suicide oh, Squad. That's good. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, but then uh, the other companies are doing other good things. But yeah. I mean, the main, the big one is Civil War, I think. Yeah, and if you're looking to just pick up books um, discounted, this is a great yeah. sale. So head to Manifest Comics mm -hmm. in Bayonne, New Jersey. Yep. Um, and then congratulate Mike Chen for being a proud papa mm -hmm. of Ember Chen. Is, it, is, that, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Ember Chen. 
I don't know if you have like a hyphenate last name or not. I don't know no. how that works. No, just Chen. Just Chen. Yeah. So Ember Chen. Congratulations to Mike. Stop by, buy some books, give him a high five. He needs more high fives in his life. Yeah, he does. Um, and yeah, and uh, follow us at uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Follow us at narrowbridgefilms.com and uh, narrowbridge on Facebook. We're making a new movie that's really good, and yep. you can donate to that. Yes. At igg.me slash at slash support the scare. We're never going away. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm going to take money until I die, which will be by the end of June. Anyway, have a good week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.